How's it going, YouTube? Anime Bar Lounge here with Grant. Today we're going to talk about the conclusion to the whiskey arc. We embarked on a journey to try, uh, I think we ended up with 12 whiskeys. Mm -hmm. And we did this to sort of explore whiskey a little bit more. Mm -hmm. The idea behind it was that I wanted to explore a liquor that I don't have a lot of experience with. I tend to go for vodkas and rums, and so whiskey was one that I've always wanted to dive a little deeper into, but never have. And so the idea of the whiskey arc was to familiarize myself with something that I felt what I wasn't super familiar in. And so this video is basically just us discussing what we learned and what our experience was. And I definitely feel like I have a better appreciation for whiskey and I feel like I'm a, I've definitely familiarized myself with a lot of the tastes and stuff that goes into it. And I definitely have a better knowledge of what I like versus what I don't like. <laughs> but what about you? What, what did you come to find? So many goods and so many bads. Fleischmann, oh, the burn, the unnecessary taste. You skip it unless you want to get it. But it is a good journey to take with whiskey. I mean, you get surprises. You really do. Um, anything goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Definitely true. And I think some of the scores we gave were in the moment. So I'm going to retroactively change some of them. So if you're watching this video, know that some of the scores have just altered slightly. And I'm keeping most of them the same, but there's two I want to change. Fleischmann I'm bumping down to a three. We started with Fleischmann and didn't have a lot to compare it to, but it really was that bad. And I want to get that point across. Stay away from it, unless you really want to see how bad it was. It was awful. It was awful. I don't care if it's cheaper. It's not worth it. Just, if you want to punish yourself, you go do so. <laughs> Fleischmann's definitely a, the punishing whiskey. Yeah. There's nothing good to say about it. The only thing that keeps it from being a one is it didn't gag on impact. Right. Yeah, we didn't gag on it. But that don't mean it went down easy. Look. The other thing is a slight upgrade. I'm going to bump peanut butter sheepdog up to an 8.5 that puts it on the same level as fireball uh, for me and i really think that it's that good it was really good and i feel like i appreciated it when i tried it but i don't think i appreciated it enough that shit was really good and i <laughs> remembered when i was tasting it there was something i couldn't quite pin what it was and so i cheated i looked it up afterwards and that's exactly what i was thinking of it tasted like kettle corn popcorn it's so good I, I think that out of all, all the whiskeys we had, because you're the one that bought it, I have brown sugar bourbon, so I don't have to go buy that. But Sheepdog Whiskey is the one that, next time I'm at the store, I'm picking that up. It's going in my liquor collection. It has to. It's it's really good. And then I am a little disappointed. We 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 went from bottom up, so we, we, we rose up. And I say the top shelf is notably very smooth. Yeah. It's some of the smoothest whiskey I've ever had, but the taste is about the same. Right. And I was somewhat expecting these to be elevated on such a pedestal yeah. that we would have felt unworthy to even have let them invade our taste buds. But they were just pretty good. Yeah. They weren't like, I was expecting nines and tens. They were realistically eights. Yeah. They were really good, and if you have the money, I would say go for them. Yes. But I don't think there's something you should be breaking the bank to try. Right. I mean, if you really want to get them, go for it. They are very good on their own, but they're not the greatest thing you can acquire. I thought Glenn Levitt would be astonishing, because I had to spend $52 <laughs> on it. But after buying it, I was just kind of like, it's just an eight. It's like, what? Come on, Glenn Levitt. This bad boy by far was the best. So yes. these were two, these two cost 50 bucks. This cost 21 and was by far the best thing we ever had. So if you have access to this, this is where it's at. It is. And so it just goes to show you, as with all things, price doesn't indicate uh, quality. Exactly. And that's something to always keep in mind. And that's why I'm glad we did this. Yeah, we spent 
a premium to get what should have been a premium product. But everything subjective, and I think that's part of why the whiskey arc was so important, mm. was because we didn't know what we liked. There, we, we had some whiskeys in our past, but yeah. there was there's a huge market of whiskeys. Oh, yeah. And there's so many that we'll probably do the whiskey arc again, maybe next year or maybe sometime down the road. Yeah. Who knows? And we have other ones we plan on doing too. Oh, yeah. But definitely shows the importance of broadening your horizons because mm. I have a lot more whiskeys now that I know I like and will be revisiting in mm. my leisure time. <laughs> this is one of them. Yeah, brown sugar. It's it's the win. It wins for me. I'm 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 shocked. You could throw fifty dollars, or you can throw thirty dollars. Go for brown sugar. You won't regret your decision. So I hope you enjoyed the whiskey arc. I know I did, and I know that having a dozen or so whiskeys all relatively close to each other to compare to one another was a lot of fun. Real quick, just as a recap, I would say the ones to stay away from are Fleischmann. That's the big one. No go on that. Stay away. <laughs> what were the other ones that were bottom of the barrel? Black Crow. Black Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. It was okay. Not bad as a cheap whiskey, mm. but not great either. Right. And then what was like a third one that was like? Oh, a third one. Was there even a third one? <laughs> yeah, I guess the other ones are okay. I mean, Ezra like, Brooks and Evan Williams weren't anything to write home about. Yes, you're right. But, Evan Williams and Ezra Brooks, they're rough, but, you know, you're getting better yeah. as you have those guys. You're getting I, better. So you're, stay away from Old Crow and definitely stay away from Fleischman. Fleischman, you see it there? Just just don't don't get fooled. I don't care if you look at that and say, oh, it's 10 bucks. It's not worth it. Your gut will tell you it's not worth it. <laughs> Definitely. So if you are looking for whiskeys, the ones I would recommend that we had were brown sugar bourbon more than anything. If you can find it from Missouri, that's the one to go with. It was so damn good, it's not even funny. And then some classics like Fireball and Sheepdog and then also Stillhouse Peach Tea Whiskey. Those are the four that I'm gonna say go for because they're affordable and they're delicious. Glen Roths and Glen Livet were both really good, mm. but because of the price tag, even though they're close and almost competing with the top dogs, I would say stay away from them unless you have money to dispose of and are really curious. Also, I would also say two gingers, not bad either. And neither John L. Sullivan. I wish I had brought maybe a better palette, but yeah. they did good. And Jack Daniels was good too. That was a classic. I feel like yeah. tasting alcohol is a skill yeah. mm -hmm. and it takes time to really get that skill. Tasting subtle notes yeah. and smelling things and trying to put your... Trying to really... Uh, trying to express exactly what you're smelling and what you're tasting. Yeah. Because there was times where I could know in subconsciously what I was tasting and smelling but I couldn't quite describe it. And so when we do this again, that's a skill I'm hoping we'll have improved, is pinpointing exactly what's happening with the beverages we are trying. Mm. But yeah, that was the whiskey arc. We learned a lot from it, and I think we're definitely looking forward to future avenues on the channel, and I have other ideas related to the whiskey arc that I will be exploring in the future. So if you liked this journey, I definitely encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe because we're going to be here for a lot of future projects and they're going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Take it easy. Stay smart. <laughs>